What is going on guys, Karga Gaming here, back with another video. Today, I am back, and I know it's been a very long time, but basically, hold on, let me move my microphone down. Basically, the reason for that is, due to time in high school, and I just had the PSATs, I have the ACTs coming up soon, I got a lot of tests, I got a lot of hard classes, and so, that's been really stressful for me, and I haven't really been able to find the time to record any videos for you guys, so I'm sorry. I am coming back, however, you may notice that we are playing Minecraft today, and there is a few, there are a few reasons for that. The main reason is, I've kind of lost an interest in City Skylines, not completely, I still like it, but I'm not really driven to make videos about it, so I'd rather make really good videos about something else than make kinda, eh, crappy videos on City Skylines, if that makes sense, so I hope you guys are not too sad about it. We will be coming back to City Skylines. I'm not like getting rid of it completely. I'm just doing something else for now until I can find the drive and the energy to record City Skylines and make it exciting because I realized my City Skylines videos really weren't that exciting and you guys probably did too. So today we're going to be playing some Minecraft. Now this is a new mod pack that I created myself. I had to do a lot of troubleshooting. Again, that's another reason why I haven't been recording for a while. But I made this mod pack myself, it's 1.16.5, and if you want the link, I can leave a link to my Discord server in the description below, uh, and I can upload a link for you guys to download the pack, but I can't put it out publicly, really I shouldn't distribute it, because legally that can be like, eh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play it now, and I might be able to get it as an official CurseForge pack in the future, but... Um, we will, what, what should we call our world? Let's see, um, this is a pretty good spawn point. We spawned right next to a waystone. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Can I rename this? Yes, I can. We are going to name this home. That is amazing because I don't have any way of making waystones yet. So, we now have our own waystone. Um, however, this looks actually like kind of the perfect spot to start. What kind of FPS are we getting? 94 FPS that around 100. That is not bad for having, you know, a mod pack so large that we use up 6 gigabytes of RAM just sitting still. <laughs> but um yeah, um one of the issues that I did discover with this mod pack is um the thing is Different mods interact with each other differently, like I was saying, and sometimes those mods can cause incompatibilities and not work with each other. Um, but, as I was saying before, uh, is Roost... Uh, the... If I do at Roost, it doesn't work. Uh, Roost... Uh, shut up! I don't want to craft wood... Fine, I'll craft wooden planks just to make you happy. Okay, so I did not add Roost, uh... I did not add more chickens or roost. That might not be in 1.16, but if it is, I will be getting it by next episode. Uh, and here's another sapling, so we'll put that down, and then we will come over here. Um, oh, well, that's interesting. They have that, and we have the thing in the top left. Okay, um, do I have vein miner? I do! I have feed the beast ultimine. That is going to be so helpful. Uh, but I'm just gonna grab some wood, and we're just gonna build ourselves a preliminary house, and we're gonna get the show on the road. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just going to make myself a crafting table, and do we, we don't have the Tinker's crafting station. Okay, so there are still a few mods that I do need to add, but we're gonna add our crafting table right next to our waystone here. And first thing we need is, we need a way of getting food. Our hunger is already going down. Um, so let's, here, let, first, the first thing we're going to want to do is, I'm going to want to make an axe, because that will allow us to chop down trees easier. And, yeah, things like that. So we've got sugar cane over here, uh, but I, I need food. I'm going to have to find a very sustainable source of food very soon if I want to survive. However, what is this over here? We have copper and we have uh, copper. <laughs> okay, but they're from two different mods. They look different. Wait, so it says we do have Tinker's Construct. So at Tinker's, 
If we have Tinker's Construct, why don't we have the... We do have the crafting station. How do you make it, though? Oh, okay. It, so it's a different... Um, it's a different kind of crafting recipe than it was in the past. Okay, that's why I wasn't able to make it. Uh, but it does seem like we spawn next to a pretty good area. Um, I'm gonna go try and find some food. Again, like I said, it looks like there might be bananas up there, so I'm gonna go look at that. Where's home? Where, where's home? Um... My goodness, why am I running down on hunger so fast? Okay. Ooh, there's dogs! Okay, we're going to need to be able to get some bones so that we can tame those, uh, wolves in the future. But, for now, let's go back home, if I can ever find it, because we are going to need to start base building, because I don't want to have to be out in the open at night. I really don't want to. I, If you guys don't know, I hate nighttime in Minecraft. Like, it's... I'm real... In real life, it's weird, because in real life, I'm not scared of pretty much anything. The only thing that actually legitimately scares me is nighttime in Minecraft. I have no idea why, but it just does. Okay, so now what we need is we need to uh, put that like that and that, and boom, we have a crafting station, which is so much better. If you guys don't know the difference between a crafting table and a crafting station, say I wanted to craft something. If I put it in a crafting table and then I exit out, it, yeah, it puts it back in my inventory. Look, I have three sticks in my inventory, now I have five. If I put it in the crafting station, and I go out, it stays there. If you look, it stays there in the crafting station. So that's why I wanted to get a crafting station. So I also want to make a pickaxe, as well as an axe, and let's also make a few chests. I'm gonna make birch chests. Uh, for now, because I feel like, you know, they're just more nice looking. So, let's just put, so, why, why did you not connect? Sir, please just connect to the other chest. There we go. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's put all these notebooks in there, put the patterns in there, uh, the saplings, and walnuts okay so now we need to get ourselves some either some wool or oh this is also the crafting station the crafting station has the ability to access um it has the ability to access other inventories of chests that are next to it so that is really helpful uh but i'm going to make a sword in case i run into anything that i need a sword for um and I'm going to need to find three sheep so that I can make a bed. So, before I do that, however, I do want to create a waypoint if that is part of this mod. Yes, uh, home. So now we have a waypoint called home and we can find our way back at any time. Now, let's go sheep hunting. We're not actually going to go hunt the sheep, we're just going to, like... You know what I mean. We're going to look for sheep, and hopefully we can find some. I also need to get some cobblestone so I can make a furnace, and uh, I will be right back. I hear sheep. I just heard a bear. Okay, where did you come from? Sir? Yes, there it is. Sheep. Uh, do I see any other sheep around? No, so I'm, I'm sorry, sheep, but unfortunately I am going to have to kill you in order to get the wool because I don't have shears yet so I need to find two more sheep before nighttime or I am well well I'm screwed if I can't find two more sheep before nighttime because that would mean that's a wolf not a sheep better not hit that one <laughs> um because I I just don't want to deal with mobs it's not that I can't I just don't want to deal with them cuz mobs are really really annoying and they can also kill you and take all your stuff, and then you have to go back and get it. I'll be back. Okay, there's a spider. Stay away from me. Ooh, I saw sheep. Yes, there's two sheep. Okay, there's one wool. 
There's two wool. And one more for good measure. Okay, okay, now I can just make a crafting table. Boom, like that, and then I can put it down. I can put three logs and three wool and make a bed. Place the bed down and sleep. Okay. Okay. We have now slept. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. Uh, I can just leave that crafting table there. Where's home? I need to get home pronto. Excuse me, Mr. Skeleton, wherever you are. You are being very rude. Um, let us go over here and mine ourselves some cobblestone. And I can just vein mine this because, um, I don't really care if I break my pickaxe because I can just make a new pickaxe. Uh, yeah, I can just make a new pickaxe with this new cobblestone that I got. <sighs> okay, so we are getting somewhere. We're 20 minutes into this recording, and it's probably only been, like, two or three minutes of the actual video. So, um, also, I'm gonna have to get rid of that, because that, that is very annoying. This, all these, like, inventory stuff, that is quite annoying. But, um, here, let us break this normal puny crafting table up here. And, uh, let's put our bed down right there, set our respawn point, and, uh, what, I'm gonna put in some planks for now, I need to go mining, so, I am gonna make myself a cobble, that is not how you make a pickaxe, <laughs> um, there we go, I'm gonna make myself a cobblestone pickaxe, and... Um, I think that I should just make a mining, like, shaft right here, and what I'm going to need for that is some torches, and uh, let's put one there, and let's just go mining. Let's just mine down and see what we can't find. Right immediately, we got some aluminum, so I'm not... It's from the mod Lip Volpez. I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to use it for quite yet, but I will do some research on that. And there goes my pickaxe. Okay, well, um, let us go back home. That does not sound friendly. Uh, let us go back home and we will look at all that we found. What is this over right here? Aquamarine. We're going to need that eventually. Um, okay, so there's our roasted walnuts, and let us smelt this copper. This is mechanism copper, and what, how much food does this give? Wow, these roasted walnuts actually give quite a bit of food, almost as much as cooked mutton. And there is our, okay, so it turns, it seems like they all turn into all the ores copper once they're done smelting but i can oh i can change which copper they give me okay that makes sense and then this can turn into aluminum from either all the ores or lip bulbs i think we're going to go with all the ores just because that's probably going to be the most versatile and i want to see if i can make an aluminum pickaxe uh let me press uses over that um, it, 
It doesn't seem like I can. However, um, I have in here a blueprint package, which gave me a bunch of blueprints. Pickaxe blueprint. Okay. So if I make, okay, I can use anything, any, any ingot, any two blocks, or I can use ingots and then just a tool rod. How do I make a tool rod? I need, I can make any two ingots. Okay. So that means I can make an aluminum pickaxe with copper. So if I use a tool rod, if I go like that, I get four copper tool rods. Then I can put in a pickaxe thing, copper tool rod, boom, a aluminum pickaxe, and there we go. So that is actually quite neat because that means that, you know, I have a bunch of, I have a copper pickaxe that I can use. And what level is this? It is harvest level three, which means I can mine that other ore that I wasn't able to mine before. So let's go back down into the mines and let us see what we can't find. Let's see what we can't mine, see what we can't find. And I will be right back. Although it is, it does seem like it's turning nighttime, so I don't think I'm going to go down into the mines quite yet. I'm probably going to sleep, and then we'll go back down into the mines. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it sounded like the... What the heck is that noise? It's getting louder, which means it's probably dangerous. If I go back down, is it still there? Yep, yep, it's still there. Mm. We will find out what that is when we become a little more powerful. How much aluminum do we have? We have eight, plus the few we have at home. Uh, let's mine up all this, uh, this copper and aluminum. Let's just mine it all up. Um, let's go see, and for some reason this aluminum pickaxe seems like it's repairing itself? I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. Um, but let's smelt down this dithili- we- can we not smelt dithilium? So we can throw that in there. We now have an aluminum shield. Uh, I do believe we can make armor out of copper, though, so let me try and make that real quick. And also, can I repair my pickaxe with just aluminum? No, it seems that I can't. Did, did I just dupe my pickaxe? No, I did not. Okay, it was just confused. Okay, I thought I just duped my pickaxe. Um, so... I, be I believe I can make armor out of copper, so let me get four copper ingots and see if I can make copper armor. Okay, can I make copper boots? I can! It's, uh, it's just one armor point, so it seems like this is the worst armor in the game. However, it does look pretty sick. So, I'm gonna wait for the rest of this copper smelt up. I'm actually gonna go get some more as well. Yeah, this copper armor really isn't good, but before we find armor, I, I guess it's the best we're gonna get. Uh, did I say before we find armor? I think I did. I meant before we find iron, it's probably the best we're going to get. Uh, yeah, I got... So I have enough to make a chest piece now. Uh, that gives us four armor. I must say, this copper armor does look pretty sick. Um, so now I need seven more for the pants and five more. So, oh, so we have just enough. We have just enough. So one more copper and we're going to be able to craft ourselves a helmet, which I think is going to look pretty sick. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's the most hilarious looking armor piece 
I think I've ever seen. <laughs> and boom, copper leggings. It, it doesn't really look any different with or without the copper leggings, but that gives us um, two, four, six, eight, ten armor points, which is terrible. However, I think it's the best we're gonna get for now, and we all we also look pretty darn hilarious. So, uh, and uh, look at look at us with our machete. That it looks hilarious. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, be sure to smash the like button down below. Consider subscribing for more content, hopefully better than this. And without further ado, I will see you dudes next time.